SOE restructuring. Are you happy with the pace at which uh, that is happening at the moment? The objective of the SOE reform is to ensure that SOEs are run on a commercial basis and that they do not accumulate any more additional financial liabilities for the government. So in this area, the authorities are making good progress. For example, they introduced adjustments to the fuel and electricity prices to ensure that SOEs do not accumulate additional losses. And also, in the summer, the Cabinet approved a comprehensive strategy to address the cross holdings of debt across the various SOEs, and these are both steps in the right direction. The government has already announced domestic debt optimization. Are you satisfied with it, and do you think EPF alone is enough, or do you think they need to go for banking sector as well? From the IMF's perspective, what matters to us is that the debt targets can be reached. Remember, these are the targets with respect to the debt stock and with, with respect to the flow of debt, the gross financing needs, the debt service on the external side, and also the debt relief that's needed within the program period. And the government, together with their financial and legal advisors, then has to think about how to reach that objective. How can we ask the various creditors to offer relief to us, the government, so that we can comply with these objectives? So the, the government has chosen a particular way, and as you said, the banks are not in there. I should say we care about the targets, but we also care to some extent how we get there in the sense that it's important for us to maintain financial and social stability because otherwise the problem could just become worse and then these targets don't apply anymore. So here in Sri Lanka, I think financial stability is maintained. The, the banks will nevertheless suffer from the restructuring through their exposure to the government through domestic foreign exchange instruments as well as external foreign exchange instruments, which is why also financial stability is an important part of the program with its own pillar.